Hello everyone. I welcome all of you to the worship service and to our Lord God in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, it's a, it's a time for us to meditate the prayer of King David, the reading uh, book of Psalm chapter 111 uh, from verse 1 to 10. Yeah, let me read it for you. You can follow me with your eyes or with your ears to meditate the words of God. Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endures forever. He hath made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He hath given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He hath shewed his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are very a verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever, and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant forever, holy and reverend is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endures forever. Okay, the main passage of uh, uh, this week's sermon is the book of Daniel, chapter 9, uh, verse 9 through 13. 14. Book of Daniel. Yeah, let me read it for you, okay? You will see the, how it looks like in you know, a throne of a Lord God in heaven, in third heaven. Yeah, that's the reason if we see that, it's enough reason for us to fear Him. You know, because, you know, fearing Him is the beginning of wisdom, okay? Are you wise? To know that, you have to examine yourselves whether you are fearing God or not. That means you are, whenever you sin, whether you tremble or not. Okay? Okay, book of Daniel chapter 7, uh, verse 9 through 10 is a scene of Final judgment which shall be made by God, okay, at the end of the world. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of the days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. A fierce stream issued and came forth before, from before him. Thousand thousands ministered unto him. And 10,000 times, 10,000 is a 10 million, okay? Stood before him, the judgment was set, and the books were opened. I beheld them because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake. I beheld even till the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning flame. As concerning the rest of the beast, they had their, their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season and time, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man, 
came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. Amen. Okay, I just read, you know, by chapter 14, okay? Uh, 4,000 years ago, there once lived a man named Job, okay? He's a man of, man of suffering, okay? He endured all the suffering by allowance of God. The job, he was the man of perfect and upright, recognized by God. He just testified and he said about the fear of God, okay? And unto men he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. If you fear the Lord and you are departed from all the evil things, you already have wisdom understanding, okay? According to the scripture. And also King David, a man of God, also testified and he said, O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. Speaking to us, okay? Even speaking to us too. For there is no one to them that fear him. Yes. If you fear him, there's no one in you, okay? You're not going to be for, you know, poverty. Yeah, it's the promise of God. Also, son of King David, his name is King Solomon, you know, also warned and said to the world, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. For that they hated knowledge and did not Choose the fear of the Lord. If you don't read the words of God, there's no way for you to fear the Lord. Because all the words of God is God himself. If you really know God through understanding that all the words of God be, uh, with reading, you are going to fear him. But unfortunately, not many people really love to have a knowledge of God. You know, most people you know, hate you know, to read the Bible, even Christian. Right? How about you? Yeah, Solomon also testified and he said, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Yes. And we can understand what God hates, okay? We have to depart from all those things. Evil pride, arrogancy, evil way, the forward mouth. He also testified about the true knowledge of God is to obey Him. If you know Him really, you are supposed to obey Him with fear and traveling. He said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of wicked shall be shortened. If you want to live long, you know, in health, fear the Lord and obey the words of God, okay? Yeah, it's a real doctor. Our real doctor in covering not only body but also soul and spirit is, you know, mm -hmm. a Lord God is a real physician, real doctor, okay? Yes, because, you know, all three doctors are only familiar with, you know, body, right? And it, all the things in, uh, belong to body, but our real, real doctor, you know, our Father God, you know, he can imagine all, uh, examine. Not only a body, but also, you know, soul and spirit, okay? You know, all three doctors are familiar with all those things related to soul and spirit. 
Yes, King Solomon is just, you know, plunged into the things in vain. You know, he just, you know, was full of sins at, in his last days, at his end of life. And he lived a, a lustful life at his end of life, and he understood his life all in vanity. And uh, finally, he preached unto the world, walking in vanity continuously. He said, Vanity of vanities, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit hath a man of all his labor which he takes under the sun? Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Yeah, what is conclusion? Listen, okay? Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work unto judgment with every secret things. But it is, you know, secret sins, you know, people commit. All right, behind the screen, right? Even the sins in their heart, right? Jesus said, right? Where it be good or where it be evil. Yes, God has given all the chances to the whole world, whether they do good or evil, but they are going to be responsible for their secret things at the end of the world when Jesus Christ come to judge the world. Yeah, Apostle Paul also testified towards the Gentiles of the day of judgment for their secret things, saying, you know, the Gentiles, uh, you know, they're not believing Jesus Christ, right? They don't believe, you know, God. Even they hate God, okay? But they are in pride, right? Yeah, they can do anything what they like during his present life. But it's a matter of time before everybody is going to be judged, okay? According to what they have done one by one, even all secret things. He just, you know, said to the world, to the Gentiles, to non-believers, for when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law, are a law unto themselves, which shew the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts the men while accusing or else excusing one another in the day when God shall judge the secrets of man by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. You know, the Gentiles, not believing people of Jesus Christ, you know, they, they could say, I don't know the law of God. I don't know God. So that's why I don't, I don't have any sin. The Bible says, you know, a, a, uh, just, you know, tes testified by Apostle Paul, at least they have conscience in their heart. Even the conscience is not perfect. Even conscience is, you know, already sinful. But knowing this, you know, God judge according to their conscience. Right? Yes. They have to follow the judgment of conscience. If not, they shall be judged by the Lord Jesus Christ. They shall shut their mouth, okay? They could not say, I'm okay. Uh, I excuse myself, you know, nobody teach me kind of things, you know, but still they, everyone has conscience in their heart, you know, in conscience as created by God, Bible says. In the main passage, okay, I just read, right, about the scene of a dreadful sin, uh, and a throne of God in, in heaven, and about, you know, his final judgment, okay, when Jesus is coming. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, 9 through 14, what we read, he testified of the scene of the final judgment as he saw, he, Daniel saw, in the Spirit of God. He saw the throne of God, where the Ancient of Days did sit whose garment was white as snow, and hair of his head like the pure wool, 
His throne was like the fury flame. And his wheels as burning fire. Yeah, the throne of God is will. A fury stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand, thousand ministered. Millions and millions, okay? Ministered, served unto him. And 10,000 times 10,000. 10 million stood before him. The judge was set. And the books were open. Yeah, what the, the books are. You know, the books are the books which has contains all each secret sins, you know, just, you know, committed by all the Gentiles, not believers. He saw that the beast was slain. The beast is Bible tells the Antichrist will come, okay? You will learn that later. The beast was slain as his body destroyed and given to the burning flame. It's caused in a lake of fire. He also saw in the night vision one like the Son of Man, Son of Man, who is that? Jesus Christ, came with the clouds of heaven. He will come with his heavenly cloud, you know, cloud of heaven in your future. And he came to the ancient of days, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and the kingdom. That means Jesus should come. He will establish his kingdom. He will reign over the whole earth. Destroyed. After he destroyed all kingdoms, all the nations, all kings, you know, all, you know, politicians and non-believers, okay? He shall be king of kings, a lot of us. That all people, nations, and languages should serve him. Even though they're not serving him, only a few number, small number of people serve him. By the time, every man and woman shall serve him and will confess Jesus Christ is our Lord. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. Yes, everlasting. All other kingdoms in the history, human history, you know, uh, passed unto other kingdom, other nation, which shall not pass away. And his kingdom, the which shall not be destroyed. Yes, you know, Babylon, Assyria, Persia, Media, Greece, you know, and Roman Empire, Egypt, all oh, they were destroyed, you know, to be passed out to other kingdom. But the kingdom of Jesus Christ shall not be destroyed, shall not pass out, pass away to other kingdom. Because Jesus Christ is a king of kings and Lord of Lord, he's God, his creator. Okay, not only Daniel, but also you know, prophet Ezekiel. He also was in the captivity with Daniel in Babylon. He also saw the throne of God that was coming down from heaven. You can compare, right? Different person, so same scene of a throne of God. He testified. And I looked and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. Whirlwind means tornado, okay? A great cloud and the fire enfolding itself and the brightness was about it and out of the mist thereof as the color of amber out of the mist of the fire. Oh, what a dreadful sin it is, right? Also out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man, and everyone had four faces, and everyone had four wings. It is called a cherubim, okay? As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like a burning coals of fire and like the appearance of lamps. It went up and down among the living creatures and the fire was bright and out of the fire went forth lightning. You know, how, how much dreadful is you know, we, you know, lightning, okay, coming from heaven, right? Oh, with thunder, right? Everyone, you know, tremble under that. 
And the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. Now, as I beheld the living creatures, behold, one will upon the earth. Yeah, same will. He saw will too, right? As Daniel saw by the living creature with his four faces. Oh, yes, you know. If you see that, yeah, you cannot help, you know, fearing God, right? Not only Daniel and Ezekiel, but also prophet Joel. All right, Joel saw the Lord Jesus Christ coming with flame, and he also testified and said to the people of Israel, Blow you the trumpet uh, in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain, let all inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness and of gloomings, glo uh, gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and the strong, they had not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the ears of many generations, a fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth, and the land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yeah, and nothing shall escape them. Why? Our Lord Jesus coming as fire. Why he is like the bond of the lands in the earth. Because, you know, when he coming down to the earth, there's no Christian at all, real Christian at all, okay? Everyone is non-believer. Because God is so angry, even though he died for all man and woman in the world, they never, never, you know, love God. Love him to receive him, believe him, but rejected him, right? How many people? He so got angry. I'm God. He's God. He became a man. He died for them. But then accepted his grace. And, you know, at the end of the earth and of the world, they just continue to not, not to believe him. How much, you know, he's going, he, he's going to be get angry with them. For example, if you die for someone, right? Yes. But they don't accept it. How much you got to angry with them? Yes. Even we are supposed to get angry with, you know. But God, how much he's supposed to get angry with non-believers, right? We have to put ourselves in the position of Father God, our Lord Jesus Christ. Apostle Paul wrote a letter unto the saints of the Thessalonian church that were preaching the gospel under persecution. Yeah, Jewish people persecuted, you know, the saints of the Thessalonian church. He also testified of the Lord Jesus Christ, his coming with flame. He also said flame, right? Fire, right? To judge the unbelievers. He also said, seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, and to you who are troubled, rest with us, and the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire, taking vengeance. What is vengeance? Vengeance means revenge, right? On them that knew not God, and that obey not the gospel, our Lord Jesus Christ. They never accepted Jesus Christ, you know, hearing the gospel, right? Oh, Jesus Christ died for your sin. If you do, don't believe him, you shall go to, to hell. If you believe him, you shall be saved. They never obeyed, okay? Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power? Yes, many people testify the same thing. When he shall come to the glorified, to be glorified in his saints, and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you were believed in that day. What that means? 
because we believe in Jesus Christ, right? Or that we go to heaven in the future. We're not going to go, go down to hell, right? We believe in the gospel of Christ, of grace. And when we meet Jesus Christ, right? Oh, we shall be, you know that? We shall be, we shall admire. We uh, Jesus Christ shall be admired because, you know, how we could believe in him. It's a miracle. We've never seen him, right? We've never seen his crucifixion also. Then, oh, thank you for giving us the faith through your grace, right? Yes. We shall say to the Lord, thank you for giving us grace. That's why we could believe in you. Yeah, it's, it's called grace. Without grace of the Lord, nobody can believe in him. The grace of Lord Jesus Christ you know, is only given to the people who are humble. Who say, I'm nothing, I'm sinner. I don't have any hope. I understand everything in the world is vanity. Right? Then, the Father God, willing to give, you know, grace. We are the people who already received that kind of grace. That's the reason why we give thanks to him. Okay, the Lord Jesus Christ appeared unto Apostle John, right? He just wrote the book of Revelation, right? And so he showed him of the second coming as the Lord of Judgment. Yeah, many different people saw the same kind of thing, the second coming, right? To judge the world. Okay, listen to this. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail, you know, mourn, right? Mourn, wail, because of him. Even so, amen. Even so, amen. It shall be done, right? And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we resurrected with glory. Clothed with the garment down to the feet, foot, and girt about the paps with golden girdle. His head and his hair were white, like wool, as white as snow. Yeah, same thing Daniel saw, right? And his, his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in the furnace, and his voice said the sound of many waters. Yes, you know, Bible says, you know, God speaking to the, to the world through his thunders. Yeah. That's why whenever I hear thunder, I used to say, Lord, speak to me. I want to hear you and obey. Yes. His you know, voice like a sound of many waters, the sound of thunders also. Okay, and he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance, the face, right? Countenance was as the sun shines in his strength. And I immediately I was in the spirit. And behold, the throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne, and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and the sardin stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne, inside like unto an emerald. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thundering, right, yes, and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. That's why you cannot see, you know, throne of God now, because of a kind of a sea of glass, you know. All the water is, you know, frozen, just, just like a sea of glass, just like in you know, a crystal, all right? And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts. Yeah, four beasts. 
four creatures, right? Same thing. Full of eyes before and behind. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. You know, against the world, right? Simple word. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a, a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. By the time everyone see Jesus Christ is love of uh, the Word of God, the Bible is He Himself. All right. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet at the rock miracles before him, with which he deceived them, that he received the mark of the beast, and them that worship his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire, burning with brimstone, and the remnant were slain with the sword of him that set down the house, set upon the house, which the sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the flowers were filled with their flesh. Yeah, that's the reason many eagles, you know, in Palestine these days. You know, God is preparing all the eagles, all crowds, and many kinds of car, you know, many many kinds of, you know, uh, birds to prepare, you know, their banquet, okay? When Jesus judged the people, they will fill their stomach with the flesh of the sinners and the blood of the sinners. Oh, yes. And this reason we have to believe in him. This reason everybody is supposed to believe in him, you know, unless not, they don't believe, you know, they got to be judged, okay? There's no excuse. Their choice, right? He also testified, and I saw a great white throne, and him that sat upon it, from whose face the earth and the heavens fled away. Oh, no heaven and earth, you know, fled away. That's right, they will see the throne of God, right? How much is dreadful for them? Finally, they see God, right? In fear, but it's too late. And there was found no place for them, no place. And I saw the dead and small and great and stand before God, and the books were open. You remember? In the book of Daniel, the books open too, right? Books and contains all kinds of the list of sins, you know, committed by people. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. Who's a believe in him? You know, already written in the book of life. You don't worry about that. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Unless people believe in Jesus Christ, they shall be judged according to their works. Okay? If you believe in Jesus, He already, through His blood, He took away all our sins, paid for all our sins. That's why we don't have to be judged by our works. By our works, you know, we shall be rewarded. That's the reason we we not sin, okay? You know, fearing God, trembling before Him. And the dead were judged out of those things. How dead can judge it? You know, his their souls, right? The body they already, you know, corrupted, but you know, their soul, their living soul shall be judged. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged, every man, according to their works. The people, the souls in, in hell, they shall be judged in final judgment seat. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. No more death, because death is, shall be dead, right, in the lake of fire. This is the second death. You know, the lake of fire, 
is giving death unto death. All right? Can you understand that? And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Yes, God showed his love toward the world. When all men were sinners by sending his only begotten son and let him die for them. And there are not only just sinners, but his enemies to reconcile with, with God through the death of his son so that they may be saved to give them eternal life. He has opened the door of salvation widely right now. For the last 2,000 years, but unfortunately, the people of this generation reject such kind of great grace of God and never want to fear Him to live in wickedness continually. Even the churches of God have been falling away from the Lord Jesus Christ, who has given such grace to be united with the evil world. They are uniting with the evil world, even church of God. And they not understand the judgment sent, judgment seat of Christ to come over them, not enduring sound doctrine, but following after their own lusts listening to their many false teachers, and they are turning away their eyes from the truth and turning unto favors. And many scoffers have appeared in the church of God and say, where is the promise of his coming? For since the father fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Marcus, right? Scoffers. Even these day Christians not believe in the second coming of Jesus Christ. Because they don't read the Bible. They don't know God. That's the reason they know they not fear the Lord. They willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God, the heaven were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Even though they Jesus come, they, not, they shall not you know, feel what's happening. In which, in the which the heavens shall pass away. The heaven is not you know, empty, you know, emptiness. It's kind of material. It should bond out, okay? It's bond too. Heaven shall pass away with great noise, and the element shall melt with the fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up, but they willingly want to forget the words of God intentionally. Yeah, they hate to read the Bible because, you know, they read the Bible all the words of God is related to judgment, you know, that's why they hate to read it. That's why they never fear the Lord. They don't have wisdom and understanding. Nowadays, many people are publicly saying, I am okay with my righteousness and no problem at all. When the day of the final judgment shall come, no one shall not be able to, no one shall be able to say, I have made my heart clean. I am pure from my sin. Nobody can say that. That will shut them out when they stand before the Lord alone. In the day of final judgment, all the secret man of man shall be revealed by the videotapes taken by cameras of God set up before their face, even though they could not see that, and they shall shut their mouth Apostle Paul declared unto them that insist their righteousness without any sin. He said, Now we know that what things soever the law says, it says to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God. 
Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. Yeah, this is the reason why we have to pray and preach the gospel for all of them, all of them that we love, in our families, right? Our relatives, our friends, so that they may understand. They may understand they have already broken Ten Commandments and repent before God to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved and be free from the final judgment of God. A long time ago, the devil, you know, took away the Ten Commandments in public school so that, you know, young men and women could not be able to understand their sinner. Not understanding they has broken, they have broken the law of God. All right? But be very careful. Okay? That's the reason we have to read the Bible. And if we understand we are saved by faith, According to our works, we are really, you know, the people who shall come down to hell, but, you know, with the grace of a Father God, you know, through his, the death of His only begotten Son, we really understand His grace. We must, you know, away from sin and wickedness, right? Yeah, we have to be wise. All the words of God is, you know, words of wisdom and understanding. I bless all of you. Okay, you may fear God in trembling, understanding His love and kindness, His mercy. Heavenly Father, thank you for your words given unto us through the words of God. Because you judge it unto the body of our Jesus Christ, because He took all our sin even before we were born. That's why all the judgment received Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We're not going to forget your grace, Lord. We're going to be away from sin and wickedness and to fear, Lord, in trembling until you come. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, everybody say, Amen.